Hey everybody, got a little video for you today on how to install tire chains on a semi-tractor tractor unit. Uh, first thing you need to do is remove your mud flap, give you some room. Just take this, put it off to the side. Now the next thing that you want to do is grab your chains and bring them over to your tire. When you bring them back, you want to make sure that the hooks on the chains are towards the back of the vehicle. That will make it so that if you get into a situation where you're spinning it'll, and your chains are a little bit loose, it will keep your chains from actually coming undone. If you have them the other way around, there's a chance when they're loose that they can actually undo themselves. So hooks to the back. Now on a set of triples like this, you should have, like I said, hooks to the back and they should be folded in such a way so that if they have lugs on them, they are folded in towards each other. That way when you put it on the tire and flip it on, it will have the lugs on the outside so that you can get the best traction. You want to grab the chain at approximately the middle and just drape it over, just like that. Make sure it's on there kind of straight. Grab the edge, make sure it's not the catch. Up the top layer, and flip that over. Just like that. Double check that it's all tucked in. Move on to the next part. All right, now we're at the front of the tire here. We've got the chain draped over. I'm just gonna take the front parts and tuck them in. That helps ensure that the chain's gonna go on straight all the way and you're not gonna run a rail over. And uh, yeah, we're ready to pull this truck forward. Now when we go to pull this forward, you just wanna make sure that the outside link here is kinda of tucked out to the side. That will help you to see it as it comes around. You wanna stop that link when it gets to about right here. That's about the best place to tighten the chains up. See now because I had that link out like that, I was able to see it in my mirror as I was pulling ahead and I knew where to stop. All right, so now I've pulled onto this chain and you can see because I've set everything up when I, before I pulled it on so that I would come onto this chain straight. All the, uh, all the rails are on the outside of the wheels. I haven't run any of them over. Everything is on here, good. So the first thing you wanna do is do up the middle on a set of triples like this. Uh, it's a brand new set of chains. I just grabbed these, so these are going to be pretty tight. They haven't had a chance to stretch. So, you will get to know your truck and how many links you need to take on these chains. It'll be different for every set of chains because they've all stretched a different amount. But yeah, you'll get to know that. Then you take the very, very inside and you do that one up. I'll show you exactly how these do up when I go to the outside link because you'll be able to see it a lot better there. Yeah, we've got that one done up. Now I'll move to the outside. All right, so now we've got the middle done up and we have the inside done up and we did it that way because that's the easiest way to get all these tight. The one you want to put the most, most effort into is the last one you do, so let's put that one on the outside. That way we're fighting on the outside of the tire instead of trying to fight with something on the middle or the inside of the tire. So. You get this one, jockey it into, kind of jockey these links around, try to get them as tight as you can. Give this a tug and find the spot where it's going to fit about the best. You take this hook here 
and you put it through a link of the chain. Now if, you're, if your chains are really loose, if they're really worn in and you've got a bunch hanging out here, flip around and hook it over here again. That'll take up some of the length so that it's not whipping around on you. Then you take the end of that hook, put it on this retainer link here, and there she go. She's hooked in. You've got your chains on. Now, if you get yourself one of these, this is called either a chain spider or a tire spider. At least that's what we call them around here. These things are absolutely great. It hooks on in six places and it gives a constant tension all the way around. So you try to get them kind of evenly dispersed. This is a brand new one so it's a little tight. And you can see now you got it hooked on in six places. It's pulling the chain in all together on those six points. This is going to keep it from offsetting itself and uh, coming off of the tire as you're going uh, should it come loose. Now you can drive it for a little ways, stop and you can re-tighten this to get it a little bit tighter. We do a lot of uh, off-road moving here so we tend to keep our chains a little looser. Um, not a lot of on-road chaining here, mostly off-road stuff. Um, if you do have to do some on-road chaining on highway, if that's, uh, if that's your gig, if that's what your job entails, then your chains may have something called a cam or a cam lock. And it'll have a little tool in it to turn that and that'll help you tighten up your chains even more because when you're on the highway, you want to keep your chains as tight as absolutely possible. That'll keep them from detonating on you while you're going down the highway. Never do highway speeds with a set of chains on. And when you're off-road, we like to keep it somewhere uh, 40, maybe 50 kilometers an hour, depending how much snow you're in. Not on dry with 50 though. Try to keep your, if you're on dry roads, try to keep your speed around 30, maybe 40 tops. If you're in some snow, you can take her up to about 50. The, uh, the snow and the ice actually cools the chains down and keeps them from stretching out. If you're on dry, it is gonna heat up the chains and they're gonna stretch and they're gonna get awfully loose. So there you go, we've got these chains on. Uh, taking them off is uh, basically, you take the tire spider off or the chain spider off, you undo all the hooks, you let that drop, you pull the top over and bring it off to the side because it's got the hooks on it. You bring the top over and off to the side let it drop on the ground, drive off your chain, put your chains away. So I hope that helps you out. If you're in a situation right now where you need some chains, I hope this gets you, uh, gets you out of that situation and gets you going. You guys take care of yourselves. Good luck out there.